Welcome, welcome back to Island Girl Garden. Today we're going to show you a couple of things around here. We're going to show you some of our uh, plants. And this is our hosta right here. It got flowers on it. <coughs> what had blooms on it, they died back. This one had little blooms on it, they died back a little bit. But that's our little cherry tree. We didn't get no cherries this year for some reason. Cherries didn't work out. They came on there, but it, they, they fell off. This first year in the ground. It's the first year. The first year actually, the first year actually had some um, cherries on it. So I've had it for like three years now. It's the first year I was had some cherries on it. So that's the. This is this is, this right here, is the original Island Girl. This is the original Island Girl right here. Look at that. That's the original Island Girl. Right there, that's the rest of the island girl. That's my baby right there. That's my other baby right there. Anyway, like I said, we got uh got these pink roses. I did some cuttings off these roses last year. <coughs> and I sold them. I'll probably do some more cutting this year. But this year I think I'm gonna try and um I'm gonna try and um what you call it, air layer. I'm gonna try and air layer. So I got like maybe seven off last year and, and air layered them. I mean, I, I did the cutters and rooted them over the winter. Now I got a white one too. This year I got a white cream rose bush. Then we got this red one. We brought all these this spring from Home Depot. Then we got this, um, this wild hibiscus. Look at that. This thing is like maybe nine foot tall. A wild hibiscus. It dies back each year. Each fall, it'll die back when it get cold outside. Then it'll come back. <laughs> last year, it wasn't quite this tall, though. Last year, it was a little bit shorter. It made like five foot last year. See, we got a lot of flowers for our garden. If we figure we plant all these flowers, we would get, get more bees coming around. So we got all these flowers you plant out here. I just went and got some packets of wildflowers and just throw them out there on the ground and let them come up. Like that, some more roses right there. This right here, I don't know what that is. I'm, I know I've I seen it before, but I don't know the name of it. So I'm going to pull that up. It's a weed. It's a weed. And like I said, here's some of our bumblebees right here. We got a lot of bumblebees. Plus, you know, I got my, uh, my solitary bees, too. So all of these right here with this plum out of this spring. And they jump right up out the ground. Got our bees on it. We got our better solitary bees. A bee flying over there. Look like it might be a kind of look like a honeybee, but I don't think it's a honeybee though. It's a little black bee. These are our flowers. An apple tree, man. That tree was full of apples and the squirrel ate all of them but two. I covered the last two up. I said, at least I'm going to try to get two out of the bunch. <laughs> yeah, like 50 apples on that tree. The squirrel just told me up. Told me up. Same with my, that's an uh, orange tree right there. East of Pure Orange. I didn't think that was going to make it last year. That, that was, it was, you can't really take the cold that much. I might move it over to where the other ones are and cover them up. This is my peach tree and the squirrel. Same thing. Took all my peaches. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Gone. This is my elderberry. You cover that up. Try to save a little bit from the birds. Squirrel are really mess with that one. Then our grapevine. We kind of got it covered up a little bit. We done got like maybe a bag of grapes off it already. I think last year we got like one little bunch. Then right here we have our comfrey. Which you can use to like... Uh, Medicinal purposes, like breaks and bruises and cuts and stuff, you can put it on there, make a comfrey salve out of it. It's good for wounds because it's it's a plant that digs deep down, root it's rooted deep down the ground, brings up a lot of vitamins and minerals out the ground. So sometimes we use this to um make fertilizer with it too, make fertilizer out out of it, using our garden. It's like people use banana water, we use comfrey water. This is our sunflowers. First year growing those. Well, I said, I want sunflower, I want sunflower. I can't make them to grow. So I took some and made them grow for. This is our little flower right here. I don't have that name of it, but 
bees love it. It'll die back a little bit since of the heat. You can see that nice little eggplant right there. I guess you can see there's two of them over there. And these are our um, <clears throat> these are our um, uh, sweet potatoes. It's my sweet potato bed. Last year we had a big harvest of sweet potatoes. As you can see, the little stupid June bugs, as we call them, beetle bugs. You see them lays up, but every by every three weeks I had to cut them back because they grow outside of the fence. Then they grow, <coughs> excuse me, they grow over in the garden. And I cut it back so I can have a little walking path right there. Because we kind of we trying to grow sweet potatoes, not leaves. We ain't want growing leaves, you're growing sweet potatoes. Like when it rain a little bit. This is another our plant. The bees loving it. Look at that bees. Look at that. The bees just loving this thing here. You got bees everywhere. So get you some plants, put in and some flowers in your garden. And you got all these bees. The bees will come. This is some, uh, another flower. <coughs> I don't know the name of it, but it grows kind of big. This flower here, there's another tall one. Then we got this one over here. So yeah, you get the flowers, you get the flowers in your garden. The flowers will bring the bees. Some more sunflowers over there, some sunflowers. Then we got some tiger lilies. Got some canyon tiger lilies right there. I gotta go ahead and pick my uh <clears throat> go ahead and pick my um cucumbers. But let me cucumbers. Let me cucumbers come in. Some right there, some over there, over there. They did pretty good this week this year. This usually maybe my spinach bed. <clears throat> like I need to redo that. Cause it got warm out and I covered up with I covered it up, tried to block some of the sun and I don't know where the rabbit got in there, ate all of it up, but the sun just killed it. Uh, whatever, but it died out, so I'm gonna replant my spinach right there. Cause I like making smoothies with my spinach. And a couple bananas. It's a nice little smoothie that's that's good to uh get your potassium up. Nice little potassium thing. <coughs> and this pumpkin. This pumpkin is huge. It's so huge I had to put a stand underneath of it to hold it because I thought that bag was going to bust. This pumpkin, I was like, how big the pumpkin get? She's like, I don't know. She looked it up. The pumpkin get up to 130 pounds. 130 pound pumpkin. And she got it hanging up in the air. So I had to put a stand underneath of it to hold it up to keep from breaking off the vine. I, th I think this thing can hold it though, but so I don't know how long it takes for she said still good once you get that big, but to me, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. So I got my uh that's my hibiscus right there. That's my hibiscus I make the tea out of. Make tea out of that the hibiscus right there. I can make the um <clears throat> I can make the um the red sorrel hibiscus. Like Jamaican red sorrel hibiscus, the little red tea. Red sorrel, that's what I make out of that. My first year growing it, I got a couple more on, on, on there on my other side. Got some more growing. Those actually caught the ones I put out first. The ones I put out first. A couple, couple of them got little flowers on them already. I'll take a look at that. Let you take a look at that and see that. But <coughs> Yeah, so we're going to show you this other one over here. It's... um. Red hibiscus is the one you make the tea out of. It actually, have a flower on it. So I'm gonna show you that. You get around here, and here's some more. Um, some of our herbs we got right here. I think that's some mint and some more herbs in here. Little bees over here on the herbs. Herbs, herbs. How you want to pronounce it? That's a little herb garden right there. So she got enough little stuff going on right. Here. A little sign I made, made by hand with a little uh. Little router, little island girl garden, organics, and our bees. I ain't talking about my bees in a while. My bees, they uh, they had, see how they do. They go in there and they fill the holes up, then they 
Then they once you get the holes filled up from the females to the back to the males in the front, they seal them off. They seal the holes up once they're done. But I, the guy was telling me sometimes it'd be too hot outside. The the ones that they lay <clears throat> will rehatch. So I think a lot of them rehatched from the ones at first. I thought they only live like eight or nine weeks, and then the, the female she'll die off after she finished laying all their eggs or whatever. But I seen all this down here, and I was like, "What's going on?" So they, some of the ones that the first ones was in there laid, they hatched, they ate the way back out of the hole. Now they're starting to refill the holes again from the ones that just hatched, starting to refill the holes. So maybe this time, once all of them finish, I'm taking it, maybe put it up so, so it stay cool, so I can get them up for next year. I don't want them to hatch again, then they might not have time to fill the holes up for the third time. But <clears throat> we'll see. I have another one inside the greenhouse that I made. Everything in the greenhouse died besides the uh, mosquito plant for some reason. Well, I know for real. I know why. It gets so freaking hot in there. Even with the fan running, all the windows open, it still be like 95, 100 degrees in there. So let me show you this last thing over here. This uh, my hibiscus that I make the tea out of. It's good for you know, it's good for your blood pressure. It help to lower your blood pressure, and then it's good for you can make like jellies out of it too. I got a couple of them on here already. <clears throat> like this right there you can take that right there and dry it out or you can just do it like it is right now and make some tea out of it take them boil it and make tea out of it but these are my first ones I might just let them go to seeds so I have some seeds next year so you let them dry out there's a pod inside of them that you can get the seeds out of so those are my first ones right there I might let, just let those dry out. And then take the seed out of them. Because they'll let them dry out first, take the seeds out. Then make for save for next year. I think next year I'm going to do them over by the fence over there. <coughs> well, I think they'll do better with more sunlight. Because the ones out front here, out front over there, behind the tomatoes, they caught. These ones was the ones I put over there first against the fence line. And these ones that caught it already, I put them out later. So I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do the. Uh, we're gonna do them at the same time next. All at the same time next year, and put them over by the fence. Go where where my fruit trees at. Make a little grazed bed over there. Get them rolling. So, <clears throat> like and subscribe, Island Girl Gardening. Until next time. My name is Up. Leave a thumbs up. Peace.